What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut8610, and today we're opening up these new uh, products I found at Walmart. They are the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Boxes. So yeah, this is basically another mystery power box, but in the past I've liked the Monster Boxes a lot more. You know, like basically, they're booster packs. The, the mystery power boxes are usually oh, a few booster packs, and then they throw in random junk. These are booster packs. They're great for just opening some packs and you don't have to worry about anything else. There's no like, I feel like extra gimmick to it. No like graded card or whatever they promise. You're getting packs. And it looks pretty cool because it looks like we can get some of Maximum Gold El Dorado, some of the uh, 2022 Mega Tins, like packs from it, Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1, which uh, that might not be as great. And then also some older packs and stuff too, some of the usual ones we've seen from Mystery Power Boxes basically and stuff too. So these were actually $30 each and you get eight booster packs. The math on that is actually okay. It's not that bad, especially with how packs have gone up in price. So let's see what packs we get and if we feel like they've been tampered with. I mean, this, of course, is not an official product by Konami. Remember that. It is uh, assembled by a third party. The real cards, the real packs and everything. But basically, these stores will get like extra packs. Maybe someone tried to steal some packs. They return them things like that, and they send them all to this company and they repackage them. So that way they can sell packs that have maybe been like knocked out of boxes or whatever has happened. Basically, there's a variety of different things. So the real packs and all, it's just not Konami that's making this mystery box, okay? So just so that is clear, okay? And let's see what we can get. I've had good luck with these in the past. Not, I've never opened up this product though. This is a new thing, obviously. But I have enjoyed the previous ones. Aren't they just fancy with the box? Look at that. Alright, let's just dump them out. Let's just see. Oh, they gave us a dice on there. Huh, okay. Well, I guess they're going to throw in some random stuff. We got the Ally of Justice one. Kind of cool. Hey, I'll take a, a free one, I guess, right? I think that's, yeah, make sure that's everything. Also, Deep Sea uh, Repeteer. I think is how you pronounce that. Uh, yeah. Not bad either. That's from the, uh, I guess it's technically from the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. So I don't know if I count that as being thrown in or what. I just didn't expect to get that. I figured we just get the pack and they keep that stuff. <laughs> so we have Dark Saviors, which is pretty good actually. Uh, Maximum Gold El Dorado, which that probably is the better one. We actually got two packs of that. Then Rising Rampage, not first edition, so you can't get Starlight. So remember that. That is something with Rising Rampage. Then... The 2022 Mega 10. Tactical Masters, one of my favorite sets to always get. And then some Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. So did we actually get 8 packs here? 1, 2, 3, yeah, 8 packs, okay. For some reason I was just double checking, I was like it didn't look right. Let's see what we get. I actually do like the Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 packs. I think there's some decent stuff. Just not a lot of big reprints is why they didn't do as well in my opinion. Alright, Enemy Controller, like that's a, that's a good card. Some of the Miss Valley stuff and all that too. I mean, you got some neat things. And then we have Sacred Spirit of the Ice Barrier. So you get like the dual terminal rares. You can see it there. The light hits it right. You can see what I'm talking about. Polymerization. That's an ultra rare one too. So that's nice. I like that. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. I mean, I love Flame Wingman. So Trishula. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice too. I'll take that. Wish it was the original Hidden Arsenal one though. A little different on price then. <laughs> so that was a pretty good pack. And Trident as well. Field Marshal. Legionnaire even. Okay. That was actually a pretty good start, I would say. I think, was it Skill Drain? I think it's the most expensive card from this set. Or it was the last time I checked it. So, pretty cool reprint on that. Yeah, Karibo. Baby Rock was a pretty good reprint. It does have some notable stuff for sure. Wrath of Neos, there you go, that's one of the kind of more random ones, I feel like, but it was dual terminal. Uh, Fabled Grimro, back in the day, really good card, so that is pretty to see. Skill Drain, there we go, I think that's still the main card, I'll, I'll show it on screen on like value and stuff. Uh, that's good, <laughs> that is really good to see on this. And Naturia Beast, one of the most annoying cards from back in the day, I used to hate this card. It's good when it's on your side, bad when it's not, <laughs> exactly. And all these different Natria things, too, and Fabled. So, yeah, I think we did pretty good from our Hidden Arsenal packs, really. Tactical Masters. Get a Collector Rare. I think these are the UK packs, by the way. They, Yeah, it says UK, actually, I think. So, 
it feels different. Trust me, when you open up enough packs, you kind of start noticing. <laughs> anyway, what do we got? Yeah, the card stock's different, too. They're darker. And... Ah, uh, Valiant's a Buster Baron. See, with ours, if you don't get a hollow for a little bit, it's like the third card. If it's like a super rare, then that's all you're getting. If you don't see one, it's all rares, then you know you're getting something that's higher rarity. So when you open up the UK one, it really throws you off. <laughs> or it does for me. All right, Mega 10. So far, all the packs feel legit and everything. They don't feel like they've been resealed. So that seems to be good. What do we got? Archfiend Staff Despair, Sun Valley and uh, Daphne, Screams of the Branded, Zexel Constructed, Earth Chance. Wow! Pot of Prosperity. Of course I get this after the reprint. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the most expensive card of this set, but of course Rarity Collection uh, reprinted, and technically I guess the Pot Collection too. I could not get these to save my life when this set was out. I get it after the reprint. <sighs> <laughs> that's always how it works for me i swear still good to get obviously that's a beautiful card but yeah it's just I, i've done that so many times it's usually that or if the card's banned you know or it's a big reprint or banned then it's like oh of course cyberdyke gets it out <laughs> i can't complain too much i've had my good luck moments too but that does happen quite a bit hey i'll take the prismatic though that prismatic is still pretty all right what are we getting from this I don't know what to think on this set as much. Uh, Tinny Spirits. Oh, Marine Sets Blue Slug. I'll take that. I think you're guaranteed a hollow with this set, if I remember correctly. I don't remember opening up a ton of this set. Um, but yeah, Ultra is pretty nice. I think it's been reprinted, but, you know, whatever. Marine Sets are actually pretty good, so. Now out of these uh, El Dorado packs, you are guaranteed two of the new gold rarity out of them. Like the premium gold rares. So, that's pretty good, actually. We'll see if we can get something really good, though. Then? Oh, we got number C1000. That's pretty cool. And, oh, we got Familiar Possessed Lina, the altar art. Yeah, they did have altar arts in these, too. And you can actually feel the texture of gold. Honestly, I like this. I would like to see more of this rarity in those sets, too. If they can do better with quality control. The quality wasn't the best with this set, though, either. There were a lot of problems. But I did like the rarity, and I like getting the alt arts and all that stuff. So they just fix that a little bit. I'd love to have them. You know, I would buy a new set. Let's see. We got Phantom Knights. Oh, already Nessie. Yeah, that was always random too when you're getting your hollows. So that's the the one of Nessie right there. Co talker and oh, we got Conquistador of the Golden Land. Which just made sense too to make these guys gold. <laughs> I, I like that for sure. And Dark Saviors. Let's see. For higher Sky Strikers and Vampires. Normally, I feel like I get the Vampires from these. So, of course, I did build those when they came out. They were pretty fun. Donpa. Well, that's pretty good. Armageddon Knight. Monarch Stormforth. Shizuku. And Magical Citadel of Endymion. That's a, that's a pretty good one, I'd say. That's a pretty secret rare, too. So... Not bad. All right. So all in all, honestly, that's a pretty good box. I enjoyed it. We'll see what's in the other one. I mean, remember to, uh, depending on what Walmarts and stuff too. And again, I think it's only at Walmarts and these. Let me know if you find them in other places. Um, it seems like usually they have the same collection. And if you go to like, let's say a different state or something, it feels like normally you can find different stuff in them too. I've noticed that with mystery power boxes. I don't know if that's the case with these, obviously, again, because it's my first opening on them. But we'll see if there's anything different. Seems like, though, if you buy both from the same Walmart, they probably got the same stuff. Kind of looks like it. Yeah. All right, so... Chapter 1, Dark Saviors. Yeah, Rising Rampage. You got uh, Maximum Gold El Dorado. Is that... Yeah, there's another one. Um, Tactical Masters. And uh, the 2022 Megatons, which is probably one of the better ones to get now. We got the dice yet again. We got the Flamefell Baby. Which, again, I like these. But this time, though, we got one of the better uh, promos. We got the Dragoonity one, which I think is pretty much the best promo. I mean, it's a good Dragoonity card. So, yeah, I'll take it. I don't know what's really expensive out of those promos anymore, but I just remember trying to hunt those down, and it uh, wasn't very easy. So, I'll take a freebie like that, you know? Okay, what are we getting from this? Basically, 
the same as what we got before. Stained Glass, uh, Slower Swallow, uh, Sunfine Crossbreed, then Breaking Ruin God. It's kind of cool. We got the Obelisk card. Then uh, War Rock Skylar. I could not say that for some reason. Lord of Heavenly Prison. Oh, that's actually pretty good. And there you go. Not really as good as Prosperity, technically, but uh, not bad, though, either. That's a pretty good pack to get. If you're going to get one of the Mega 10 ones, I think it's 21 is considered the worst one, basically. So, yeah, because it's really only Cross Out is what you're looking for. The 22, I feel like, had quite a few things. So, if I'm remembering right, I could be wrong, but I think that's right. Okay, Reckless Greed. Let's see if we can get a Collector Rare. And, well, okay, and, ah, uh, another Valiant, Valiant Genesis. I do like the Valiant cards, though. They are neat. I've always wanted to build something with them, because I got a lot of them. <laughs> Let's see, El Dorado. Yeah, I bought so much of that set, because I was trying to get all the collectors I could for Labyrinth. Okay, Magic Sea Fiend, number four. Hey, there you go. Oh, we got uh, Plasma. That's good, the Alt Art. I like the Alt Art quite a bit. And Twin Twisters. So, I consider those pretty good. Seem to be in pretty good shape, too. Yeah, that's something you do have to kind of look out for. Now for the other one. If we get Access Code Talker, I believe he's in this one. Uh, that'd be pretty sick. We have Scrap Wyvern. Ooh, Neos. I'll take Neos. Not bad. Meow, meow. Wonder if we'll ever get that back. And uh, Invoked Makaba, the original art. There is an altar art, of course, too. So, those are pretty cool. Rising Rampage, again, I kind of expect nothing from this set. It's such a shame that uh, Unlimited versions don't have Starlight, so I feel like that instantly kills it. So, yeah. Even though even though my chance is, like, probably point .1, I still gotta go for it. BS Blaster Cannon Core. Like, you, you still want to have that chance. Otherwise, it just doesn't feel worth, you know? Dark Saviors. Monarch Stormforth, what do we got? Seal, Allure, always good. Vampire Vamp, and <laughs> there you go. Sky Striker, Mobilize, Engage. Yeah, I hate this card. <laughs> that was the expensive card there for so long. That'd be like a $100 pool right there. Um, I don't think it's the case anymore. It's been reprinted a few times. I mean, the Seeker might be pretty sought after. I mean, it's not first dead though, is it? No, but I mean, that's probably still really good. I just... Oh, I hate dueling against Sky Strikers so much, and they keep getting good support too. So I'm a hater. I'll admit it. If you love Sky Strikers, more power to you. I'm a hater. I know I am. <laughs> anyway, uh, Hidden Arsenal Chapter One. Listen, we all have those decks that we just don't like, and it doesn't mean we hate the people that play them. And I'm not judging people that do play them. Okay, a little bit, but <laughs> we just all have those. I know. I'm sure there's plenty of people that hate Dragoonity as well, even though that's one of my favorites. So. I get it. We got an ally of justice this time. Then, uh, Natria Bamboo Shoot. Phalanx. Okay, see, there we go. Dragoonity. And, oh yeah, uh, Apex Avion. I remember that. That reprint was really good. Because <laughs> that was a pricey card, too. Sunflower. It's too bad Natria's got kind of hit, you know, because the Natria support was actually doing pretty good. Last pack. Okay, what are we ending with? We know we're getting a hollow, I guess, basically. Let's see. Dragon Ove. What else you got? More Ice Berries, which might be good to pick up now, by the way. We are getting new support for them. Blizzard Warrior. Card Trooper, which I like that quite a bit. Edison might be fun. Dark Magician is the tablet one, though, but it does look pretty. And, of course, Knight Assailant. So, yeah. Again, that set is pretty fun, though, if you're looking for, like, Edison and even Goat Format, too. It's not bad to pick up some stuff. But, yeah. What do you guys think about these mystery boxes? For me, I think I like them. I think I'm going to say pick them up. I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you agree or disagree. I mean, an official product is always better. Don't get me wrong. And especially if you can find the Rarity Collection set, that set's already getting a little tough to find, that's still worth it over this. And if you can find like the little five pack mini boxes, I mean, that's still a little cheaper than this. And I feel like you're getting more value. But I don't think these are necessarily a scam. I don't think they're resealed or anything like that, too, because I pulled a lot of really good cards. You're getting just booster packs and stuff. This is way better than a mystery power box, in my opinion. So if you've got those two choices, 
this is the one. This is what I would choose easily. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and all that. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, Rarity Collection still wins over this. That's the easy choice for anything, okay? And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.